Things could have been much worse if several people hadn't jumped into action to stop the gunman. Invest what up, YouTube? It's your girl, TT Chanel. First, I want to say rest in peace to the victims. And I am back with another reaction video. Make sure you like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So when I first reported on Club Q nightclub shooting, gay club to be exact, um, I shouted out the police, like, you know, shout out to the cops because, you know, the situation could have been way worse. Come to find out, it was regular civilians that stopped it. It actually was an ex-army vet and a drag queen. Could you imagine being the first mass shooter to get took down by a drag queen and, and regular, like, an army vet? Like, these are regular people, not even cops. So I just want to give a, a special, special shout out to the heroes who, you know, stopped the situation from getting way worse. And I'm going to let him get into his, his you know, explanation. Every single person in that room. I feel no joy. I'm not happy. I'm not excited. That guy is still alive. And I'm going to be the first person to say that. I don't know if someone ever said this, but I'm going to say it. It's, it's very unfortunate when the shooter, the suspect, whatever, the person who allegedly walked in and does the killing, the, the shooting... It's just, it sucks that they make it out alive. Like, I kind of hate that because it's like you took so much innocent lives from people. And shout out to NBC for this uh report. So the news clip is just showing how, you know, the people in Colorado are just like sticking together and, you know, showing their respects and just, you know, sticking together. Because right now, the LGBT community, we need each other like the most right now, man. This is ridiculous. I could not help. And one of which was my was family to me. Raymond was was part of our family since my daughter was in high school. Okay, I went to his football games. I sat with his mom. I sat with his little brother. They are great people. I'm not going to speak about Raymond because that's his mom's job. His mom's his mom's going to do that. I have two friends right now in the hospital, Chip and Joanne. Okay, they are our greatest friends. Me and my wife's friends. Only people we we hang. It's our Colorado family. I definitely want to send out my thoughts and prayers to anyone that's injured right now. We never really talk about the injured. We always, you know, say rest in peace to the to the dead, to the victim. But we also have to, you know, hope and pray that the people who's injured right now pull through. Now, the suspect is also injured and he's in the hospital. Um, don't really care too much about him. So we're not going to get too much into that. Let's get back into the speech. Joanne is just texting. She's making it through. Uh, Chip got shot. He's making it through. So they have two little ones at home waiting for them. I, I have, I didn't ask for this. We went to a, a, a club to watch my, friend, my daughter's junior prom date uh, perform. Uh, Wyatt, little Wyatt. He's now, he's potted, potted plant. Potted plant's his drag name. Okay, I have no shame with any of this. I, 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 I support my community, whoever that is. Okay, I love everybody. Um, and I've never said anything different. Yes, like we really have to give a special, special shout out to this hero right now because he is not part of the community and he just was there to support and not only to support but to protect. And that's what's up, man. Shout out to him. I joke, that's who I am. Uh, but and you see how he has to say, I'm not perfect. You know, I joke because, you know, you trolls on the Internet would try to some way Google this man and just try to troll him. And I feel like we should protect him at all costs, people. Like if you guys are watching this video and you support my community, support everything that I do and you fuck with me, let's make sure that we keep him safe and protected. Don't let the Internet trolls attack his character because, you know, that's what they're going to try to do. And it's funny because. I'm pretty sure he knows that, which is why he had to say that. Like, I joke around. People, people know that the Fieros are there for them if they're part of their life, okay? Um, my wife is doing amazing things. Dude, we just got a call from my, my sister-in-law. My, my little nephew, man, he just got diagnosed with Hodgkin's, man. I don't know what else I can do. Uh I tell people this all the time. We are all going through something right now, man. Like, life is so hard. And the last thing we need is to be trying to enjoy our time and just enjoy the, the life that we have. And you just, people just take it from us. Like, we really have to figure out something with gun control, man. Uh, we're trying, man. My brother's fam sister's family, his wife's family, 
fucking Russia, man. I, I, we, we have had a couple rough years. Um, I think the best I did with the, the, the article for the New York Times was what I think I could do, okay, for telling people the details that I know. Listen, there's video and all kinds of stuff. I don't know if I'm even telling it right. I, I can only imagine, like, the like how his heart was pumping. Now, keep in mind, he was... Well, he was, well, yeah, he was in the army. So he's a vet, right? So can you just imagine the, the PTSD that he has, like the trauma, and he was still able to pull through and take down that gunman? Like, I don't think this man is getting enough credit. Like, we have to give this man his flowers. And now, like, thank you. Just know I got into mode and I needed to save my family. And that family was, at that time, everybody in that room. Um, this is how I wish most cops would think. Like, you see how he said at that time I needed to just save family and family was everybody in that room? Why don't cops think like this? Like, they should think like this as well. Like, they be trying to hide behind a wall and make sure they protected. This man didn't think about none of that. In his mind, like he said, I was just thinking about family and how to protect people. Cops, y'all need to take notes. For real. Hit that subscribe button. And that's what I, I, I was trained to do. I saw him and I went and got him. And when I pulled him down, I, 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 I told him I was hitting him. I, I want to kill you, guy. I'm going to fucking kill you. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm going to kill you. You try. You He killed. He killed a family member. This is a lot, YouTube. I'm not even going to sit here and hold you. If you guys want to check out that full interview, you can go to kktv.com. And you can check that out. It was uh, streaming live last night. Now, I want to give a shout out to the uh, Colorado Springs Police Department because they did actually acknowledge, you know, uh, the two heroes in this situation, the two people that are responsible for it not being more people dying. So let's give a huge shout out to them. Okay, so it's another clip I want to get into because one thing I can say about my community we don't let anything break our joy. We still gonna fight back no matter what. Among the crowd of mourners who came out to Harvey Milk Plaza here in the Castro for the Club Q vigil was a drag queen who says she's honoring. Yes, a drag queen put together an event in San Francisco, you know, just to, you know, honor the victims and just to spread love in, the, in a time of hate. So um, let's go back to CBS. The victims and fighting back in our own way. At the corner of Castro and Market, emotions ranged from anger to sadness over the LGBTQ nightclub shooting in Colorado Springs. Club Q promoted a drag divas drag show on Saturday. It also. I don't know too much about the gunman, but it did say that Club Q was hosting a drag queen event. Now, a lot of times, a lot of these men, they be undercover and they be in a closet and they can't face their own problems. That's why they go around, you know, hurting people that's actually okay with being themselves and not afraid of the world. Though, so I wonder, I'm like curious if maybe he was a little gay and maybe he couldn't face it and maybe he just turned that into hate. I don't really know. I mean, y'all comment below and tell me what you think. I feel like that is just, that could be a reason because you decided out of all nights on drag queen night to come up in there and act the fool. Like, what's going on? Are you, maybe he secretly wants to be a drag queen and he feels like he can't be what he want to be because of the world and maybe that's what he did. And it's just unnecessary, man. I just uh. the plan to hold a drag brunch and show on Sunday for Transgender Day of Remembrance. It just never stops. It feels like that every every step that we make forward, the more progress we make, the more harder people push back. I 100% agree with this. Like I'm still not over Pulse. Like I'm still not over what happened at the at the gay club in Orlando. So for this to happen right now, like it's a lot, man. It's a lot. And it's all based on fear. The hatred is about fear. People that they don't understand. People that they think look different than them. Sister Roma has been a drag activist and entertainer for more than 30. Five years in San Francisco. Can I just say that Sister Roma is given? Like, yes. Like, at a time like this, we need, you know, we need good vibes, good fashion, something to make us smile, and definitely given. So, shout out to Sister Roma. Let's get back into the clip. She said she knows she doesn't have to leave San Francisco to find people who aren't thrilled with the queer community. 
know, I do a lot of really big public events. I'm on the main stage at San Francisco Pride, uh, and you kind of have in the back of your mind, gee, you know, I wonder if anything crazy is going to happen. But we can't let the terrorists, and that's what these people are, stop us from being our authentic and true selves. Like I said, I got up today and I did this to sort of say, you know, you to these people. Yes, I agree. We still got to be ourselves no matter what. I do want to point out, though, like there is a lot of hate in the world. So when you're being your true self, just be mindful of your surroundings. Please be mindful of your surroundings. Always be yourself, but be very mindful of your surroundings. I know that's kind of hard, but uh, try your best. All right, guys, that's it for me for today. Well, at least for right now. Lord knows what else is going to happen in the world. Make sure you like, comment, hit that subscribe button. Be safe. I'm out.